place that there was trouble. There lived a man named Jacob Joe, the meanest on this mundane globe. Well, he feared not God, nor cared for man, except his wild and wicked plan. He had six boys, both big and bad, who followed right behind their dad. They drank that wildcat whiskey down and painted red the country town. There were six gals, big buxom gals, who pranced and frolicked with their pals. They danced and capered on the hills and sometimes tippled at the stills. But one day an awful rattlesnake bit the oldest boy, Big Wicked Jake, and through his veins the virus flew. He's bound to die. What shall we do? Well, they sent a runner to the town in haste to fetch the parson down, a Dutchman of John Wesley's band, as good as any in the land. For well, he prayed a wondrous, curious prayer in words of faith both rich and rare. If to heaven it reached or not, on earth it surely hit the spot. Oh God, be thank thee for this snake that thou hast sent to bite old Jake to fetch him down from his high hoss and lead him to the Savior's cross. Oh God, he never would repent until this blessed snake was sent. He would not mend his wicked day until kind providence today. And now, oh God, the great I am, please send another to bite old Sam and chuck and chong the worst of breaks. Oh please, be me more rattlesnakes. Send chicken snakes to bite the gals and all their dancing wicked pals. There's Mama Joe, she needs one too. Perhaps a copperhead will do. <laughs> Please send the biggest on the globe to bite old daddy, Jacob Joe. And please, oh God, before too late, please hurry up these gospel snakes and save this old Kentucky state. I ask it for Jesus' sake. Amen.